How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Motorsport. We've just been given a bunch more information about the brand new Forza Motorsport game releasing this year. Some cars, some tracks, um, physics, customizations, game modes, just a bunch of stuff to cover in this video. So here is everything you need to know about the Xbox developer livestream that just revealed some Forza Motorsport information. Starting off with cars, we all like to know what cars are going to be in the game. Well, at launch, Forza Motorsport has over 500 of the world's most incredible cars that you can collect, race and customise using over 800 unique upgrades and custom modifications. So, there will be unique modifications for cars and there won't be the same generic modification across the board that we all don't really like. Our roster includes over 100 new to motorsport cars and if there's one key of piece of feedback that we've heard countless times from the community it's that we want newer racing spec models and they have delivered that. 500 cars in the game at launch, over 100 new to motorsport cars which is a massive number Let's take a look at the list of cars that they gave us, bearing in mind this is not the full car list. Here it is here, I'm not going to read through all of them, you can pause it if you want to read them, there's stuff like the Chiron as you'd expect, the Aston Martin Vulcan, there's just lots of really cool cars here. Again, pause if you want to view it because there is another page, which is this one, uh, again, pretty cool cars that we like to see, Lamborghini Huracan Evo, McLaren Senna. Nissan GTR Nismo, again, the sort of cars you'd hope for that we are actually getting. So that is the up-to-date list of cars that are going to be in the, in the game at launch. There will be a lot more, but those are the ones, the key ones, that they've pointed out. Now, we all like the cars to sound good. Let's talk a bit about the car sounds and their audio technology. Forza Motorsport is the best sounding game ever and the first to be mixed natively for immersive audio formats like Windows, Sonic and Dolby Atmos. They have rebuilt each audio system to create an immersive soundscape and deliver a new level of sonic depth and authenticity for our players. They go into detail about how they have just completely rebuilt the whole audio system, not just with cars, but with tracks as well, because different tracks will sound different based on the tarmac, um, if there's any tunnels, any echoes. They have given every car a variety of distinct sounds based on the parts you've installed, as well as improved tyre and suspension audio. So I would say this means that exhaust and turbo modifications will dramatically change what your car sounds like. This game is going to sound awesome, at least I hope, anyway. <laughs> New features like our regional track announcer system and improved tire and suspension audio bring a new level of realism to the game. Hear Forza Motorsport like never before. Every tire squeal, every engine, lap after lap. Car physics, car paints, let's talk a bit a bit like that, a little bit about that. So cars will drive better in Forza Mode Sport thanks to the advancements they have made to their physics simulation, which are greater than Forza Mode Sport 5, 6 and 7 combined. That is impressive. The physics have got to be out of this world, otherwise I'll be disappointed. Along with that, they are building materials and shaders from the ground up for a cutting edge ray tracing experience. And all car paints are sourced using a spectro photometer, I don't know how to say that, to give each paint coating a significantly more realistic light response across colours, metal flake and gloss levels. So they've gone ham on the ray tracing experience with paints and stuff like that. Cars will have context aware damage and dirt build up that is authentic to and unique for each vehicle in the game. They are simulating paint thickness, chipping and directionality of damage while layering dirt so it accumulates in a realistic manner. Man, this game is going to be so detailed. If you haven't got an Xbox Series X, get one because you're going to want to make the most of this. Unless you've got a PC. Our materials and shaders are built from the ground up at higher resolutions and optimized for a cutting edge ray tracing experience. Our paints are sourced using a spectrophotometer to capture multiple data points of light behavior on a surface. This yields a paint model that has a much more realistic light response across color, metal flake, and gloss. Tracks. What tracks do we have coming to the game? Well, 
Here's what they said about that. Forza Motorsport launches with 20 beautiful environments on day one, rebuilt for this generation and featuring multiple track layouts to master. These include fan favourites such as Maple Valley, Laguna Seca and Spa, as well as five all new to motorsport locations. Pretty cool. Compared to previous generations, they are drawing up 10 times more detail on the Xbox Series X and S. From highly detailed vegetation and overgrowths to crowds consisting of tens of thousands of fully animated 3D spectators. My god. This will enable us to constantly evolve the racing experience so no two laps ever look the same. And crowds consisting of tens of thousands of fully animated 3D spectators, so you're always immersed in the pure spectacle of racing. For the first time in Forza Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day with weather ensures a constantly evolving racing experience. Again, I'm not fully reading all of the text on the screen, so if you want to read every piece of it, make sure to pause and read through it. The list of tracks that we were given are the following. Um, there's, there's only seven on there. We were promised 20, but these are the seven key ones that they're pointing out of tracks that will be within Forza Motorsport at launch. So that is awesome to hear. A few little gameplay features and game modes. In the overall summary here, it says at the bottom that the game will release this year, featuring our incredible new online racing mode and our all new car building focused single player career. So yeah, they've maybe implemented the factor of upgrading and tuning your cars within the single player career, along with the new online racing mode as well. Now in the summary here they go on about how it's built to take full advantage of the consoles, it's going to look real, sound real and feel real, but what catches my eye on this bit is it says that Forza Motorsport's coming out this year, but that's all it says. We know that the game was promised for spring, it doesn't say spring anymore, maybe they just weren't specific, or just maybe the game is being delayed. Now by delayed I don't mean it's being knocked on the head and it's going to take ages, Maybe not spring, maybe just a little bit later this year. Spring is approaching quite fast. It would be nice if it came out in spring, but at the moment it just says this year. I don't know if that's a bad sign or not. We'll have to wait and see. As I've been cycling through the video, guys, we've got a bunch of screenshots of the game on screen right now. My God, the game looks incredible. Now these are 4K images, but my videos are 1080p because I'm a loser. But just look at the detail, look at the reflections, look at the ray tracing. This, the fact that we're going to be able to drive within these screenshots, basically, blows my mind. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. Leave me your honest thoughts in the comment section below, guys. I'd love to hear it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon content. I'll see you all later.